like, subscribe and leave a comment. So here is your 2023 top five UFC women fighters, in my opinion, this year in the UFC. These are the top of the top, cream of the crop, in my opinion, this year in 2023, the top five. So I'm going to say number five for me is, I hope I don't uh, butcher her name, is Manon Font. Uh, the lady from France, I believe she's from France. I think she's really good. She is a really good fighter. She's top of the she's top of the spear of her division. Um, closing in on a title fight as well for sure. Um, go and look at her last win. It was historic. Um, it was definitely a dominant victory in France as well. Um, but she's my number five. So she's doing really good work. I, I expect to see her in a title fight soon or potentially a title eliminator. That's what I would say. Number four, I'm going to say Tatiana Suarez. Come on now. She's doing big work. She hasn't lost. Um, I think it's time to start giving her those big fights now. Um, she's just dominating everybody. Obviously, with her wrestling, it's top tier, top level wrestling um, within her division. Uh, she's, a, she's a monster right now. And she's on a bit of a win streak as well. So I think it's time to give her a top tier competition or give her a championship title shot. Next, I'm going to say number three for me is Valentina Shachenko. Uh, so she lost her title. No dispute there. She's lost her title. Before that, obviously, she was on a historic run within her division. One of the best fighters in the world. Men, man or woman. Okay, man or woman. She's one of the best in the world. She's actually my number one last year, I think, when I did this uh, ranking. I gave my number one last year. I'm sure I did. Um, so, yeah, she's she's definitely right at the top of any pound-for-pound -pound discussions. But, obviously, she lost to Alexa Grasso um, via rear naked choke in her last fight off a spinning back kick, um, which was historic. That stopped her run. Um, and then they had the rematch, and she did face the best, and they went to a draw. So she didn't lose the fight. She actually went to a draw. So I have to get, get up, keep her up here. She's number three. She was number one last year for me, but she's number three because she went to draw for a draw. I want to see what happens in the next fight as well when they have it. Them two like really closely matched, and let's see what happens next. My number two in this ranking for me is... Weili Zhang, Zhang Weili, my bad if I butchered it, but it's called a Weili, um, but yeah, she's number, she's definitely number two, um, dominant victory in her last fight against Kyla Esparza, dominant, dominant victory, um, obviously she won the title dominantly as well, and defended it dominantly as well, <laughs> she's, just dominant, she's a dominant, dominant champion, um, obviously we was leading up to that match between her and Valentina Shevchenko that would have been awesome um, a catch weight or some type of weight or whatever it was what they was going to do that's what I was clamouring for but it didn't actually happen but since then she's been dominating her division um, she's a champion right now I'm not sure who she's facing next I don't think anything's been announced as of now but I am looking forward to seeing her fight next but she is definitely my number two ranked fighter in the women's division and my number one ranked fighter uh female ufc fighter for me personally right now it has to be alexa grasso the pride of mexico it has to be alexa grasso because um come on now she just beat the number one ranked women's fighter for me last year was valentina shachenko who hasn't lost who didn't lose, lose at all lose at all i believe amanda nunes come off the loss to juliana pena that made her number one but this year it's alexa grasso she beat her rear naked choke submission um and she defended the belt in a draw some people said she won some people said she lost but it's a draw I'm not sure, but the jury's out there. But they're gonna, I'm sure they're gonna fight again for a third time to actually see who is the woman. Um, but for me, right now, as we speak, going to going into 2024, Alexa Grasso for me is a number one ranked women's fighter out there for me personally. Defeated the long reigning champion, Valentina Shashenko, and defended the title. And now let's see what happens next in the next fight. So that's my list. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And let's see if you agree with me or not. If you don't, obviously leave a comment. Have a good day.